Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Miami Heat at FTX Arena. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. GA, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial for Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. So the next starting five, we've got Mikel Bridges, and it's Claxton in at the five, home in the paint. And for the Heat, the wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Kevin Love out there with Adebayo, and it's Lowry in at the one spot. And for the Nets, it's been a whirlwind last couple years, uh, assembling a super team, and before you knew it, it fell apart. But this franchise has been back from the ashes before, so don't write off that front office just yet. Butler with the ball. Outside for Lowry. Off target from outside. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Dinwiddie passes to Bridges. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Now the Heat with it. Now Butler. Hero sets the pick for Butler. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds the Heat able to retain possession here. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Adebayo kicks to Love. Lowry has the open look. That's three pointers off the mark. Here's Finney Smith. He's guarded by Adebayo. Bridges against Hero. Four on the shot clock. Here's Bridges. He had told in by Bam Adebayo. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Outside for Lowry. Butler on the wing. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. The 11-footer, and it's blocked, and he's able to get it back. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Dinwiddie outside on the wing bridges that one no good and Miami the other way now they just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets that one was played in Brooklyn and they lost the last matchup with this club and it was really the reserves where the gap in play was felt now here's Lowry pass to Hero good on the triple now, the consistency with which Kyle Lowry involves his teammates is really a sight to behold. This guy's such a good passer. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Finney Smith. High pose Johnson. He's going up against Love. Let's it go from the wing. It's hauled in by Hero. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. Loads it up for Adebayo. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, perfect timing on that alley-oop. Adebayo has a real connection with his teammates. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. 
What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. With a pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. The Heat in fifth. Yeah, they were incredibly accurate on free throws last season. They are an organization that doesn't neglect an important part of the game. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Hero with it. Bridges covering. Hero kicks to Lum. Back to Hero. Launches a three. A shot by Lowry. No good. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Nothing yet up on the scoreboard for them. Johnson wide open. He fires. And again, it's the Nets missing. Nothing going right on the offensive end. Zero for four from the field. And a wide open look for Hero. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got his third assist on the night. Hero against Bridges. Now the pass to Johnson. Dinwiddie left side. Just five to shoot. They need this. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian American head coach in any of the four major North American break, sports leagues. Worked his way up from video coordinator. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. And you think about all the anticipation over the last couple months. Doris, the regular season is finally here. <laughs> it is upon us. <laughs> Amen, Kevin. We have been waiting so anxiously for NBA tip-off. Obviously, you're always looking to see the movement of personnel. How well do guys who've switched organizations fit in with their respective rosters? Is somebody now a title contender? So many anxious front offices hoping they made the right decisions. Now, Hero, he's got six outside Lowry. Butler in the corner. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. And another basket for Miami. I think defensively you've got to respect the roller. Butler takes quick note and takes it himself. Then Whitty surveying the floor. On the wing, Johnson. There's the triple. And again, no good by Brooklyn. A heat leading by eight. Outside Lowry. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now, here's Dinwiddie. 
nine points last game out. Good on the three-point shot. We know Mikael Bridges is a legit threat from deep, and boy, does he love the corners. Lowry passes to Hero. Takes a three. Brooklyn with the rebound. On the wing, Bridges. He's covered by Hero. Bridges dishes to Dinwiddie. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Bridges kicks to Dinwiddie. Here's Finney Smith from outside off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Pass to Love. Outside Lowry. Pass to Hero. Fires the three. Can't hit that one. Bonnets go the other way with it. Here's Finney Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Lowry against Dinwiddie. Johnson with a screen on Hero. Bridges misses. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Hero kicks to Lowry. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Dinwiddie outside. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Pass to Butler. Love outside. Shot clock at five. None of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Dinwiddie against Lowry. And there's the pass to Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Max Truce has checked in for Jimmy Butler. And a change for the Nets. Simmons has checked in. There's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That is his first foul of the game. Adebayo finds Lowry. Now Struess trying to end the drought. 
That's quickness and size working in Finney Smith's favor on the defensive end, making it very tough for the shooter to get any kind of look around him. And stolen by Love. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. Passes to Johnson, launches it, and he's good on the three ball. Johnson's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Nets. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Adebayo. Back to Lowry. Let's it go from deep. Struce's shot is good. And the Heat lead by four. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Finney Smith trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. You talk about a defensive menace. That's Dorian Finney Smith. He has a knack for coming up with a big defensive play. Often lines up against the opponent's most important offensive play. They get it back. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The effectiveness of Bam on the rebound. He's got the perfect physicality for chasing boards and knows how to use it. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Robinson's checked in for luck. Caleb Martin comes in for Tyler Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. Now here's Simmons. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Simmons sets a screen for Curry. No good on the triple. The Heat leading by seven. And with the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. Adebayo, no good on the shot. A bit long that time. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Nets. On the way, Harris, covered by Martin. Simmons sets a screen for Curry. Five to shoot. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. And again, it's the Nets missing. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Screws passes to Vincent. There's 126 left in the first quarter. And stolen by Harris. It's stolen by Adebayo. Who's in the corner? This one for three. Got a hand on it. Such a strong defensive player. Bridges understands. I've got size and quickness. The rejection, yes, sir. Pass to Simmons. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Five on the clock. O'Neal from long range. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. A heat beaten by seven. Here's Vincent. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Autobio. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And here are the Nets. Curry looking around. On the wing, Bridges. Defended by Struess. It's Curry outside. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. This is what Seth Curry is known for. When defenses don't chase him off that line, guys, he will make them pay. Robinson a screen on Curry. Here's Otobio. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Miami ahead. They're up by six. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this.
again, for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you guys from the heat in this one? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Six-point game. They've got Vincent. Robinson is out there with Caleb Martin. Then there's Victor Oladipo. And it's Butler in at the small fold. So that's who Miami starts the second with. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. One shot. Free throw no good for Thomas. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But, Greg, a first-round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he hit his foul shots a season ago at about a 74% clip. Evaluating recent attempts, doors to create super teams. They haven't quite worked out as planned, have they? What we understand now is the game isn't played on paper. So many things go into winning. Chemistry, health, and if you risk your future trying to put together a super team with no consideration for what comes next, that can be problematic. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Vincent. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. And he makes the first. Well, you think about a team that was as heavily laden with talent as the Brooklyn Nets were when they had Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden. But obviously, injuries played a part. The trade, the big trade happens. A lot of bumps in the road for a roster that looked built to contend. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Despite the Nets shifting lineup scores, they're still fairly dominant. Well, that's a credit to their organization. You have to be able to push aside the drama, shut out the noise, and when the ball is tipped, just focus on the game right in front of you. Now, here's Dinwiddie. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Heat. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Now here's Butler. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. It's Thomas on the wing. Started by Oladipo. Then ready with the bucket. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now, here's Oladipo. Here's Robinson. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Robinson's got his first points of the game. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Here's Thomas. Can't connect from the right block. Miami leading by nine. Oladipo with the ball. Defended by Dinwiddie. 
Martin kicks to Butler. Just four to shoot. That shot is off. Some solid defense from Harris. The Nets trail by nine. A floater. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Well, let me show you my floater game. Don't think I'm a long-distance shooter. Joe Harris says I've got more than that in my tool bag. Harris against Butler. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, he'll run through a wall to win, but sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is worth it. And he knocks down the first one. And Greg, last season, Butler and Spolstra got into it on the sideline. We all saw it. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good way of phrasing it. Uh, that manic intensity, perhaps necessary at times for a player who competes as hard as Jimmy. Johnson, he's checked in for Harris. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. It's tipped. Butler with the steal. Oladipo outside. He kicks to Butler. Martin with the screen for Butler. Outside, Martin. Shot clock at five. Oladipo misses. Nets trail by nine. Thomas feeling it out a bit. Over Oladipo. Thomas's shot is off. Miami's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Vincent. Five points in the game. Robinson a screen on Dinwiddie. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The Heat shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The first free throw is good. And Doris, in a time where we see so much international conflict, Commissioner Adam Silver has said that shared loves and appreciations, including sport, can bring us all together. It's a nice thought. It's a wonderful thought, Kevin, and I think immediately to the NBA Finals, where I see representatives from so many different countries, China, Brazil, you name it, the opportunity to interact to share our passion for the game of basketball. Listen, the hope is we can find more things that connect us than that pull us apart. Now here's Thomas. Feeds it to O'Neal. Oladipo with the block. Well, how about the athleticism of Victor Oladipo twice on the pipe? Outside Robinson. There's the pass to Butler. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Great focus from Jimmy Butler right there. He understands contact is part of the game. He's almost inviting you to hit him. Now here's Dinwiddie. He has five. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Brooklyn shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. That one is off. And the Heat with some changes. Max Cruz has checked in for Buck. Tyler Hero comes in for Victor Oladipo. And it's Lowry in for Gabe Vincent. And the Nets making a change here as well. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for O'Neal. That 
one is no good. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. Now, here is Martin. This is the most they've led by 13 points. And that one is good. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And the basket by Johnson. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Now, here's Lowry. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. But Trey carries it from three-point range. And the Heat lead by 15. I love the response from Lowry. When you drain a three on him, this guy's coming right back at you. An emphatic alley-oop jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And here are the Heat now, following the bucket by the Nets. The nine-foot shot, and it's Miami with another. Oh, and the touch on the interior. Hero can hit jumpers as well as capitalize in close. Stolen by Mark. Dinwiddie against Lowry. Outside, Hero. Robinson sets a screen for Hero. Pass to Struis. Four on the clock. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Lowry against Dinwiddie. Pass to Johnson. A three ball. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists here tonight. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Now, Hero. He's got eight. Here's Cruz. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Cruz has got six points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And the Heat with some changes. Pam Adebayo's checked in for Robinson. Love comes in for Caleb Martin. And it's Jimmy Butler in for Max Cruz. The Nets also changing it up. Ben Simmons, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Curry subbed in for Dinwiddie. defense 
Simmons feeling it out a bit. Pass to Thomas. Bridges against Butler. Just five on the clock. Bridges inside. It's Curry outside. And that's collected by Love. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. And here is Butler. He's got six. The pass to Autobio. And here is Hero. Over Thomas. Hero, no good. Well, we know how Tyler Hero's a bucket, but still lots of room for growth. Last season, the sixth man of the year winner, he really did struggle, though, in the postseason. Miami leading by 15. Lowry with the ball. Adebayo with a screen on Thomas. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Ben Simmons. Oh, such a crafty player. Lowry excels at using his body to draw contact. And Greg, you look at the playoff shooting percentages for Hero, tailing off from his regular season numbers. And Kevin, that's not uncommon for a younger player, but the playoffs are what matters. And to be a star, that's one you've got to deliver. And the first one drops. Boy, Kyle Lowry, you can't help but notice the frame, right? He is a bit undersized. And yet here is a guy who has been a consistent two-way force in the NBA, has truly had a remarkably consistent career. And Kyle Lowry drops them both. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his eye as well. Curry, wide open. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Nets trail by 17. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? Thomas dishes to Simmons. Back to Thomas. Simmons sets a screen for Thomas. Lock at six. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist by Thomas. My goodness, defense was there, but Ben Simmons makes that finish look easy. Butler deciding where to go with it. Bridges with the steal. Down low. Johnson, the pass to Simmons. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. A three-pointer is right on target. Thomas got five points now in the quarter. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Outside Butler. Love with the screen for Butler. Miami no good on that time either. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Bridges. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And guys, this young man does such a good job keeping his balance on the way up to the basket. Mikel Bridges solid at keeping his composure. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Corey and Vinny Smith comes in for Johnson. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Thomas.
and working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. With the step back. Shots good by Hero. Hero's got 10 points. And since the first quarter, we've seen them ease off on that long range affair. And frankly, that's probably a good idea. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He's got five. That's in, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Curry. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And he's got his first chance at the line here. That's good from Hero. Nets trail by 12. Bridges, right side. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Jimmy Butler. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikel Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity strike. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And, you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was Two at shot. the line. The first one falls. Well, what you love about Mikel Bridges is he is going to accept whatever his coaches and team ask of him. This is what's allowed him to be successful. Both free throws good from Bridges. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Bridges against Butler. Now Adebayo. A 24-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. And don't forget about the two blocks. He really changed the game for his team on the defensive side. And when you watch Hero play, it's no surprise he's a gym rat. He can score from any spot on the floor. Here's Curry after Tyler Hero's bucket. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Ben Simmons. Here's Butler. Six points for him. Love outside. Hero on the wing. Shoots over Curry. Rebounded by the Nets. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Here's Hero. 15 points in the game. Can't hit the free throw line jump. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Thanks very much. From one Kevin to another, you guys were dominant in the first half and you have a big lead, but do you forget about that in the second half? Oh, yeah. We got to treat it like a 0 0 game. I know we're going to say in the locker room, we got to come out and win the third quarter. If we do that, we feel like we'll be okay. But like I said, this team is tough. We know they're capable of coming back. Well, we'll see what happens, Kevin. Thanks. And now back to the other Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who are each leading their respective teams through the first half. And in this game, we have two top performers. Kind of like us, guys. Are you baiting us to guessing which two? There's no guessing about it. I'll leave it to the imagination. 
And keeping things moving, what a tremendous first half performance for the Miami Heat. They are just attacking on the offensive end. Physical play is sending them to the line consistently. And that's where they've been cashing in big time. Yeah, they have the defense out of position and reaching for the ball. Love their approach. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. And the Nets with possession here. Trailing by 10. They get to take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Second half underway. Here's who Jock Vaughn's got on the floor. We've got Johnson. And it's Bridges in at the shooting guard. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Now here's Butler. Hero with the screen on Dinwiddie. Butler finds Hero. Shot clock at six. Over Johnson. Hero can't get that one to fall. Nets trail by ten. Finney Smith passes to Dinwiddie. Here's Bridges. And it's off the back rim. No good. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Outside, Hero. Back to Butler. Here's Otobio. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Heat lead by 12. Second chance points kill you. It's a strength of Adebayo picking up the garbage and putting it in. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson for three. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Well, an over three start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Lowry kicks to Buck. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got six assists in the game. Nets trail by 15. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Bridges passes to Johnson. Dinwiddie against Lowry. Charity swipe shot. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Outside Butler. There's Hero with a three. That one no good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Bridges against Hero. Bridges left side. And it goes down two points. Well, good defense, losing to better offense in that instance. You love how calm Mikel Bridges is in the face of that great contest. He is three for three from the free throw line. Heat leading by 12. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And he banks in the layup. Lowry's got seven points. When Kyle Lowry touches that painted area, he is aggressive to score it, and he is so able to finish on the interior. Passes it to Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Pass to Autobio. Butler with the ball. 
Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. And now that's 11 points for Butler. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. A moment here to see the stats for Butler. Coming off a terrific season, he was around 21 points per game last year. Five assists and six rebounds. And you talk about defensive presence, he's the real difference maker on that end. Yeah, he's always somewhere around the ball, finding ways to help his team by shutting down the opponents. Dinwiddie up top. Now recovering. Pass to Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. Just five to shoot. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Love. This is his first free throw of the game. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. Good from Johnson. So Johnson hits two of them. Here's Butler. 11 points in the game. Outside Lowry. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. 20 feet out. Hero, no good. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Bridges, right side. Shoots over Hero. And again, it's the Nets missing. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. 17 points was their biggest margin. And Nicholas Claxton gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Lowry passes to Love. From the arc, Brooklyn with the rebound. 
Dinwiddie's got five rebounds tonight. Kicks it to Bridges. On the pass to Claxton. Johnson, that's for two. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Well, he, leading by 11, passes it to Hero. It's stolen by Johnson. Hero against Bridges. Dinwiddie outside. Bridges inside. He's covered by Hero. Clock at four. Dinwiddie gets the three-pointer to fall. Dinwiddie's got eight points. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Pass to Autobio. Now Hero. Shoots over Bridges. Again, the miss by the Heat. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Inside, stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Lowry kicks to butt. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got assist number seven for him tonight. Timeout call, the Nets. The Heat making a switch here. Spruce is checked in. And the Nets making a change here as well. Curry's checked in for Dinwiddie. And the Nets with possession here. 11 point game. against Bridges. Pass to Johnson. Johnson sets the screen for Curry. You can't get that one. Now the Heat take it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Now here is Lowry. Seven points in the game. Throws it from outside. Love's got his second basket of the night. Boy, they've got Kevin Love in catch-and-shoot situations. Turn the lights out. He's that good. The pass to Johnson. On the wing, Bridges. He's covered by Hero. And that's a foul called on Ben Adebayo. That's his first foul. So for the Nets, Ben Simmons comes in for Johnson. And Thomas subbed in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And here is Curry. Five points in the game. And stolen by Love. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Bruce. The shot, no good. Bridges with some nice defense. Passes it to Simmons. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. 
Uh, ben Simmons is so skilled at using his athleticism and strength to draw the contact. How about the end one opportunity? Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Heat. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there, they are challenging them and getting it done. And Simmons is an asset in so many ways, maybe most of all, his defense. Well, unequivocally, Greg, this guy can guard one through four. And I'm going to say because of the length and the strength he has in a pinch, he could also guard most fives. He's terrific on the defensive glass, and he can put a ton of pressure on you in his transition game. Like, this guy is a special talent. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from Bridges. Lowry with the ball. Seven points in the game. Pass to Hero. Over Thomas. Hero, no good. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Simmons. He's got seven. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots from the elbow. Miami grabs the miss. Love's got his fifth rebound in this one. Struz passes to Lowry. Takes the three. And Curry pulls it down. Nets trail by 11. Al Simmons. He kicks it to Bridges. Simmons against Adebayo. Simmons, the bounce pass. Thomas, it's a wide open look. They get the rebound. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. And the Heat call time here. A different look for Miami. Martin's checked in for Love. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Finds Martin. There's Vincent. Martin with a screen on Kirk. Six on the shot clock. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And checking out some stats for Curry. How he did last season. Put up about 15 points per. Three assists and three rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They take have called his number, Two and shots. he has delivered for them. Oh, 
And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Brooklyn with it, trailing by 10. Here's Simmons. He has seven. A shot by Curry, no good. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Pass to Struess. Loads it up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And it's been so much fun watching Adebayo up his game, making himself into a star in a big part of this offense. Curry trying to break free. Thomas, no luck. Unbelievable. He blew that. Look, guys, no clue what went wrong there. Out to the right wing. Here's Vincent, and he hits the jump shot. Vincent's got eight points. Nets trail by 14. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. It's thrown by Adebayo. Spruce kicks to Hero. The pass to Adebayo. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And one of the more active big men in our league. Adebayo never stops working. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Robinson's checked in for Miami. Victor Oladipo comes in for Hero. Harris is checked in for Brooklyn. Them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Adebayo against Bridges. Simmons sets a screen for Thomas. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. Miami leading by 16. Now, here's Oladipo. Robinson a screen on Thomas. And Oladipo, here we go, over Thomas. Miami no good on that time either. And so Thomas will bring it up for the net. Harris outside. Oladipo against Thomas. Will it go? No good on that one. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Heat lead by 16. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Adebayo is the big man with Butler sliding in at the four. Oladipo is out there with Vincent. And it's Martin in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Shot from 16. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. This is a guy who is now capable of shouldering the load on the offensive end of the floor. Jimmy Butler, a late first-round pick, but boy, has he improved. 
Thomas passes to O'Neal. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Thomas got three assists now in this one. Butler against Simmons. Now here's Butler. Defense right on him. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Well, there's a gritty nature to what Jimmy Butler does, just out working people down low. Passes to Dinwiddie. O'Neal high post. Five to shoot. Thomas outside. And the Nets, another three. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Pass to Butler. It's tipped, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Robinson's checked in for Autobio. Vincent misses. Nets trail by 14. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Thomas. O'Neal against Oladipo. It's Thomas outside. Rebound by the Heat. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Vincent. Dinwiddie covering. Outside Robinson. The pass to Butler. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Boy, with his power and explosiveness, when Butler gets inside, it's typically a bucket, a trip to the line, or sometimes worse, both. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Jimmy Butler clearly thrives in an environment that lives and breathes and embraces toughness. Autobio is checked in for the Heat. He's perfect from the line this time. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Thomas up top. Dinwiddie right side. Back to Thomas. O'Neal is screen on Oladipo. Thomas, no good. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's going to send Victor Oladipo to the line. That's on Ben Simmons. And that one misses. Well, what do you do with more responsibility on your plate? If you're Victor Oladipo, you ascend into one of the game's top talents. This guy, his hard work and mentality paying off. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Vincent. Passes it to Autobio. Here's Vincent. Thomas covering. Vincent's shot is good. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Trills the three-pointer. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Here's Vincent. Pass to Autobio. Butler with the ball. Over O'Neal. Butler, no good. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. 
Lobbed up there for Johnson. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Here's Vincent. Pass to Autobio. Here's Butler. Guarded by O'Neal. Butler passes to Autobio. Outside for Martin. From outside the arc. The rebound by the Nets. Dinwiddie's got six rebounds now in the game. Knocked loose and stolen by Butler. He dishes it to Martin. Oladipo taking his time here. Plus a Pendus finishing track. And the Heat lead by 17. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Dinwiddie. Outside Thomas. Nice tee from Oladipo. Butler with the ball, defended by Dinwiddie. Good D by Thomas. Nets trail by 17. Outside, Simmons. Pulls up, high post. Martin with the block. And they'll keep possession. The three from Thomas drops in the tray. Thomas got nine points now in just the second half. That's his third triple this half, and that's after hitting only one before that. Timeout called the Heat. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. Bam, out of bio. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And here is O'Neal. Dinwiddie left side. Bridges passes to Johnson. Just four to shoot. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's foul number two for him. Kyle Lowry. He's checked in for the Heat. It's the Nets now. It's a 14-point game. The pass to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Now Dinwiddie fires the three. And the Nets, another three. 
Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Lowry with the ball. Pass to Autobio. And here is Butler, guarded by O'Neal. Pass to Dinwiddie. Now, here's Bridges. Butler with the steal. It's tipped. Stolen by O'Neal. Hero against Bridges. That's tipped. And watch how Hero uses a burst of speed to get ahead of the shot. Managing to swat that one away. Outside Lowry. Three-pointer. Hits it from three-point range. And the Heat lead by 14. Well, the man has no heart. And, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Five on the clock. Back to O'Neal. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Heat leading by 14. Now, Lowry. Pass the buck. It's stolen by Johnson. O'Neal kicks to Johnson. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. They led the game at one point by 20. Johnson with the block. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. Dishes to Dinwiddie. Love grabs the board. Love's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now, here's Lowry. Here's Autobio. Wants to get it to Butler and does. And he uses the glass on the layup. 22 points for Jimmy Butler. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. Timeout called the Nets. In the pass to O'Neal. It's stolen by Lowry. Now 
the pass to Autobio. Butler with the ball, guarded by O'Neal. From 10 feet out, it's Butler that time on the assist by Autobio. Autobio's got five assists tonight. Dinwiddie against Lowry. Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. Can they get it? A shot's good from Claxton. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Lowry feeling it out a bit. Bridges with the steal. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Back to Bridges. It's tipped. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Autobio. Hero with it. Shoots over Bridges. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Heat. Now the one thing that jumps out in this game is the free throw shooting, which they did a much better job at. Absolutely. A, a, a big plus. And oftentimes your performance at the line can be the difference in a game. And I think tonight we saw that. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. Really a big time win for these guys. They lost their first two games of the year to this team, so they won't be in danger of getting swept when they meet for the fourth time. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Bam Adebayo. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Now, Hero, the shot's good. And the Heat lead by 17. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Bridget for three. No good there. And Miami the other way now. They led the game at one point by 20. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Adebayo finds Hero. Fades back. Johnson with the rebound. Here now is Dinwiddie. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Jimmy. Explosive night for you offensively. You were feeling it out there. Uh, feeling it and, and taking rhythm shots. I feel like all shots that I take are, are going to go in because I'm so used to taking those shots, man. But for my coaches and my teammates, they got the utmost confidence in me shooting whatever shot because they know it's going to be a good one. It was very good tonight, Mr. Buckets. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.